it took me years to get a diagnosis because my voices were literally screaming at me. Do not tell anyone about us. My name is Barb Sarsfield. I'm a mustard seed resident. I've been living in the 1010 Center for about three and a half years. I had a normal family, but my parents were very young and very naive, and there's no book on how to raise kids. They just tried to make me different. Well, my parents didn't even figure out I had a mental illness till I was in my 30s. But I didn't know anything about mental illness. I didn't know other people didn't hear voices. My family, my friends, my coworkers, um, they all began doing intervention phone calls on me. I decided to prove them wrong by sitting down and writing the story of my life. I finished what I had written, but I decided to proofread it. And I couldn't believe my eyes because I had 125 pages of gibberish. So I called into a program that I had helped start at TELUS, uh, an employee family counseling program. And they got me into a very caring psychologist. And that was my first step into the mental health system. When I was in the hospital and the first time I woke up and I didn't hear voices after going on the medication, I was terrified. I didn't know what to do with myself because I had had voices directing my every move for 34 years and all of a sudden they're gone. When I had absolutely no place to go, I asked my parents if I could move in. And my dad insisted that I apply at the mustard seed and it turned out to be the best place for me. I didn't realize how much they actually help you here. They help you to shine. Come here, you're welcome. You'll get the help you need whether it's dealing with your addictions, whether it's finding a home. They'll do anything and everything within their power to make sure you have what you need. Don't be afraid to ask. That's what they're here for. And that's what they love doing is helping.